Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for NiNO3 2 plus K2S. This is nickel 2 nitrate, and this is potassium sulfide. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. So when I look at this, I see immediately I have two potassiums here and one here. So I'm going to put my coefficient of 2 here. That balances the potassiums. Now I have two of these nitrates. That's good. Two nitrates here, nickel, nickel and then sulfur and sulfur. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. Compounds with the nitrate ion, they're very soluble. So both nickel 2 nitrate and potassium nitrate, they're going to be soluble, dissolve, break apart into their ions. Compounds with sulfide, the sulfide ion, in general are insoluble unless they're group 1, like sodium or potassium. So potassium sulfide, that's going to be soluble, but nickel 2 sulfide, is insoluble. So we say that it's a solid, it's going to be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances here, they react. Now we have our states, we can actually split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. And that looks like this. This is our complete ionic equation. And note we don't split solids apart when we do our net ionic equations or complete ionic equations. So solids, they stay together. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants here, I see that we have these two nitrate ions right here. And again, in the products, two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions, and we can just cross them out. Same for these two potassium ions here in the reactants and in the products. These are spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for NiNO3 2 plus K2S. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for nickel 2 nitrate plus potassium sulfide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 plus and 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0 in the reactants. In the products, this is neutral, net charge of 0. So charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for nickel 2 nitrate plus potassium sulfide. Thanks for watching.